Brad Garcia here. I am the Client Relations Director with Real Estate Investing Made Easy. I'm also in the setter role or the acquisitions manager role or lead manager role with Lazarus Property Group here in San Diego, California. Right now, we are in the middle of a training series going through the setter's day and what that looks like in forefront, showing you our exact process, how we are closing deals every month. The first video uh, was going through our inbox addressing active communication and new leads. Our second step in the process was going through high priority specific tasks in our contact records. And now what we're gonna be doing is going through our pipeline and addressing people that we haven't been able to get in touch with that have come into our CRM through whatever lead gen source you're using. Hopefully that's real estate investing made easy. But these are, these are contacts that you haven't been able to get in touch with yet and that you need to be able uh, to try to at least, you know, get them on a call and or text them. And if we haven't been able to, our, just so you're aware, in Lazarus Property Group, our process is they come in as a new lead. We try to get them on the phone with one phone call. We put them in a status. It's uh, called second contact attempt. We try again a day or two later. And if we haven't been able to get a hold of them, I'm putting them in a, into an automated follow-up sequence. Your time is valuable. And so being efficient going through these leads is crucial. We want to get on the phone with people who are motivated to sell, but we also want to get on the phone with people. So if I'm constantly retrying to call a person and chasing this person who really just doesn't have the time for me, I'm just, I'm wasting my precious time on people that don't really care and it's not worth. So it's much better to just drop them into an automated follow-up sequence. And I'll show you how to do that. The way that we're going to be navigating through this page is top down. And what Forefront has done is has created a, a list view, but each one of these blocks is a record. And what you can see here in the middle. So we, we have our, our record here that we can get to. I usually like to get into the full record, but at a glance, you're able to see a recent note. You can view all of the notes and add one quickly. We can get into that contact, see if there's any other uh, properties that they own. And then I can also set a next contact date. Okay, now this is for what we'll be going into in our next video. All the videos are, are linked below in this in this training series. Um, but what this does is set a follow-up date for a general follow-up, okay? And so we can set this for next week. We can save it, okay? And what that does now is drops it down into our contact later, okay? So you can see, when did I set this contact for, okay? And it, it just allows you real quickly to go top down and make sure that you're you're hitting all of the the contacts that you haven't been able to get in touch with and getting through them quickly. Okay. And so really what you're going to be doing is going into the record, making your call. And when they have it, let's say, let's say Rob here has not been a, we have not been able to get in touch with him. I just called him again. All I'm going to be doing if I haven't been able to get in touch with him is putting him into a follow up sequence. I really like this sequence here. If you are a done for you marketing client, if you've done um, our lead management package or business management accelerator package, either one of those, any one of those options we've built out are your forefront, exactly how we have this. You should have this follow up, um, this automated follow up sequence. And I would encourage you to use it uh, for a number of different reasons. One of which is that it staggers the follow ups texts that are sent out. So in this case, it puts it automatically into high priority sequence. I'm gonna just put that in there. It pauses everything else and starts him on a automated text sequence. So now, tomorrow he's getting a text. Two days later, he's getting another one. Five days later, he's getting another one. Seven days later, he's getting another one and so on and so forth up until 12 days. Now, once it hit 12 days, what we've done is put it in a perpetual sequence of it going out of that back into a two week follow up or 15 day follow up for a, a period of time. And then it'll circle back and put it back in here. So realistically, he could be in our, our system forever if he never responds. 
The moment a person in an automated follow-up responds, it pauses that follow-up, it'll drop them into, obviously they'll be responding, it'll put them into an inbox and you'll be able to reach out to them and hopefully get them on the phone. You, you see, once I've done that, it's taken them out of the, the list here. And so we have dealt with that lead and are on to the next one. And so once you've cleared this or put everyone into a next contact, uh, put them in automated follow-up sequences or gotten a hold of them, the next step in our process is our follow-ups. Okay. And we'll be getting into that into our next video. Um, hope that was helpful. We'll see you in video four.